We're trying every item in the December 2021 Keto Crate right after this. Hey guys, welcome to Smash the Crate, the monthly series where myself, generally my mother, and my husband try every item in this month's Keto Crate. This time of year is really busy for my moms, so unfortunately she cannot be here with us to smash the crate, but that just means more snacks for me. Yeah, that's that was Sorry mom, we'll see you next time, okay? See you next year, mom. Don't forget, stick around to the end of this video to find out whether you won this Keto Crate. Once again, if you live in the United States, you could win this crate. But if you wanna skip all that nonsense and just get the crate yourself, use the link in the description box below to get a discount on your very first Keto Crate. Nice. Okay, so this crate was great. I will say, not a lot of Christmas themed stuff like I would have expected, but still great nonetheless. Okay, guess what? There's, there's a little thing own a piece of Keto & Co. Like they're seeking investors. Oh, wow. I said, we go into this website, okay? Like, cause, we, cause honestly, yes. this is such a great company. I know. I Their products Keto are Co. delicious. Yay. And so, yeah. So I was like, we're really gonna do that. Plus That's good awesome. for them, like venturing out. Exactly, raising capital. Nice, and this was inside of the- It was in there, yeah. I know, right? Wow. So yes, Amazing. I know. So, okay, so with that being said, Let's move into the products. Mm. The first of which being Keto & Co brownies, that? right? That's so you guys, normally we make these things and we like try them, mm -hmm. but we just did, we didn't have the time for it today. But I can tell you, I've already had these. These are my favorite brownie mix. Ooh. They're so good. They are so good. Oh these are, look, if you like brownie mixes and like if brownies are something that you really want to have on your keto journey, mm -hmm. tier one would buy. Nice. Yeah, yeah, talking about our, our tier system, tier one is an item that you absolutely love. Yes. You would buy it, you have bought it, it tastes great, you love it. Tier number two is, this item is really good. I wouldn't mm. necessarily buy it, but if somebody gave it to me for free, if I got it in the keto crate, I would be happy to receive it. Right. Tier number three is, yeah, this product is okay. I would accept it if someone gave it to me for free, mm -hmm. but it'd probably just like sit in the snack drawer for a long time in case, like, in, mm -hmm. unless I just wanted to Let find us. it one day. Yeah, you know, but I'm still keeping yes. it, right? Then tier four is, uh-uh, nope, don't like it, would spit it out, You're like, not would, not, would not accept it. If somebody yes. gave it to me for free, I'd be like, I don't even want that. Like yes. if somebody gave me a bunch of meat sticks, I'd be like, I don't even want those, you know? The scandal. <laughs> So those are my Slanderous tier fours, words. but his tier ones and twos and threes. So yeah, so that's our tiering system. Yes. So these are tier ones. These are worth buying if you like brownies and pre-made mixes. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite one. We just didn't have time to make I it today. To we did have them. I think it was on a keto date night. We yeah. actually might've made these. They so. were so good. I'm, so I'm a big brownie guy. Yeah, love, so love buy some Keto & Co brownies. Buy some keto and co, right? Like invest in the company, right? You know, it's so a combo meal. exactly. It's a combo pack, right? It's the gift that keeps on giving. Okay. So that's out of the way. Absolutely love those yes. products. Okay. Number two, spicy dill pork Ooh. rinds, Southern recipe, small badge. I know I figured my husband might, you know, enjoy this a little bit. I'm, I'm loving the savory. Exactly. Which, mm. you know, for me, we got to get them out of the way so we can move on to the sweets. I will say, surprisingly, there are not a lot of savory things in here mm. at surprisingly. all. Surprisingly. So there's not even a meat stick. I feel yeah. bad. Okay. Oh, surprisingly again. There you go. They usually always include a meat stick. Whether I want them to or not, they include a meat I'm stick. pretty sure okay. that's your dream. Yes. No meat stick. A meat stickless keto crate. Okay. Let's go. Oh, my God. So dill. Yeah. Mm. I don't know if I'll get spicy. I was just gonna say that. I mean, this is like a tangy deal. It yeah. is, it's very tangy. Mm. To me, that's a tier three. I, first of all, all savory snacks and foods are probably gonna be a tier two, at mm -hmm. least, you know? But of that flavor, I've had plenty of other pork rind flavors that I like better mm -hmm. than that. So that would um, sit at the bottom of the drawer. I like, was gonna say tier one. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> Well, if 
There was like with a lot of cold cuts and stuff. Like mm-hmm. it gives me a nice little like um. It like is definitely a pickle right sort of situation. Yeah. yeah, that would go great with a sub sandwich, exactly. right? Mm-hmm. Like a rolled up like meat, like cheese and meat, mm-hmm. like slices and stuff. Like some, something cold cut related. Yeah, I think yeah. that would fit perfectly. I, would I go, mean, yeah, what? the flavor is delicious. Don't get me wrong. I'm not a fan of dill flavored things that aren't yes. pickles. But, you know, and Southern Recipe Small Batch has other flavors of pork rind yeah. that I like better, right? So they don't taste bad by any yeah. means. No, say by itself, I was give it a two. Mm-hmm. Compare me, add it with cold with cuts. With a, a cold one. cut, yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. But to you, it's a three. Yeah, so it is a three. But nothing bad. But taste. if you like dill flavored things, you'll probably like yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. Dilly. Dilly. Next, we have intact snacks, crunchy Ooh. cheese, black pepper. Exactly. So this is a oh, um, a huge black pepper fan. Yes, and this is a moon cheesy well, sort of situation. Yeah, you'd be a fan of black pepper. Yeah, Absolutely. I love salt and pepper. Exactly. <laughs> I love the foundational That's spices of life. That's a thing. Exactly. Okay. So these are just black pepper, crunchy okay. cheese. Looks right, good. Here we go. Oh. Okay. Oh, these are nicely sized. Yeah, these are nice sized like cheese puffs. I was puffs. expecting a little bitty pellets or something. Yeah. No. All right. Okay. Let's go. Mm. Love the crunch. Love the cheese flavor. Mm. Hint of black pepper. Mm. Okay. Well. Yeah. <laughs> I get the crunch. I'm not even getting the cheese flavor that strong. I get, well, what kind of cheese is it? But I mean, it's not a very sharp or strong cheese. Yeah. It's Chilean buttery okay. cheese. It does taste buttery. It's after you eat it. That's mm-hmm. how it works. After you eat it, then it's like, oh my gosh, that's cheesy. Okay. So for me, these are still a tier two. Like, mm-hmm. I like the crunchiness. Yeah. I like the subtle cheese. I like the subtle pepper. I mean, it's basically... Very neutral. And yeah, I know that yeah. you like using that word. Yeah. I don't like to use that word to describe food, but I, do. I like that. Like, that was tier two for me. Yeah. I would say tier two as well, just because I enjoy the crunch. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't say it's black pepper. But yeah. I mean, and also it's, it's nice. in the aftertaste as well. Like, you do yeah. get a hint of, like, yeah. black pepper in the yeah. aftertaste, but it's not super black pepper. I agree. Mm-hmm. I will say tier two as well. Mm-hmm. Okay, I honestly think that's it for the oh, savory joy. thing. Yay. Now we move now on we're in your world. to the sweets. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm first, sure you are. we have Keto Farms Maple Candy Yay. Pecans. These things are delicious. I think you've, you've had these before, right? Have you had them before? Yes, we've well, definitely had so. them before. Well, so man, they've probably. definitely been in the keto crate before. So here we go. I love how you hold out both your hands when you mm. definitely don't like to try a lot of anything that I, I give just you. So. Want to, I don't want no. to spill. It's okay. sometimes the, the bounce. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay, do you see it? Like definitely candied, definitely pecan. Like these yes. look like your typical yes. candy nuts, I know. right? They look amazing. Yeah. Okay. As far as the look department, you got me. Mm. And the taste department. Right behind it. Yeah. Yep. Whoa. Well, that's Whoa. an easy tier one. Easy one. Yeah. Oh, that's so great. Yep. Mm-hmm. I could take that whole bag right now. <laughs> She's not looking. Bye. Ah. I mean, just the only thing that will make them better, maybe they're mm-hmm. warm. You know, like how they come right out of the. No, oh, like you get in like at the fair. Or yeah, something. like you know, you get in the cone. But taste-wise, those were amazing. You know, I've, wow. I've never had warm, like warm nuts out of the fair style. Oh, it is. It's good. I can imagine. Oh, my God. If it just tastes like but that. But those taste so delicious. Mm. Wow. And Tier one. Again? Keto Farms. Our good friends Keto over farms. at Keto Farms. Yes. Do you need investing in? I know. Because... <laughs> <laughs> can, we, can we buy your company? Oh, my God. That was really, that was really, really good. good. Okay. Uh, was tier, easy Tier one. Easy Tier one. Okay. Next. High Key Mini uh, Cookie Snickerdoodle. I don't think I've had the Snickerdoodle. Yeah. So I said, I don't think we've tried the Snickerdoodle mm. either. We Of course, we've had the chocolate so chip. This is new. Chocolate crunch, but never the snickerdoodle. So, in true high key fashion, they're little bitty mini cookies. No, 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 oh, oh, like, now the husband will take another one. Okay. Just in case. Just in case one falls out of They are like, you know, really crumbly, mm-hmm. very famous Amosy, you know, exactly. like, well, but they're always delicious. Okay, let's go. Oh my God. Such cinnamon. Yeah. Mmm. I mean, so warm. Mmm, snickerdoodle. That's another one for me. Mmm. Mmm. Back to back ones. This is a tier two for me. <gasps> no, only because I love their chocolate chip more. No, like, okay. I mean, these taste really good. But if I'm on the Hockey website, like, which one am I going to buy? 
It's the chocolate chip. Oh, man, that, but these are delicious. Nice, nice punch in the face. It is. Oh, it has it on here. No, I love you guys, it. It has some cinnamon on there, and boy, you can taste it. It's just like a warm, like. Mm. I can do that. I can but do you that. know, the thing I love about these is they don't have the the erythritol cooling after effect. Exactly. They just don't. They're so good. Like <laughs> just, just saying. But snickerdoodles are two for you. Yeah, the flavor of snickerdoodle. Of but these crunchy cookies, okay. tier one, pretty much every flavor. At that point, just choose which one you like, right? Mm. But for me personally. These are tier two. Chocolate chip is your yes, but favorite. but if you like snickerdoodle cookies, the closest thing you're mm -hmm. gonna get, if you mm -hmm. ask me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was my mm -hmm. first mm -hmm. snickerdoodle. That was delicious. In a while. In a while. Yes. Oh my gosh. In years. In years. Okay, next we are trying Good Sam dark chocolate mint. Ooh. Chocolate bar. Actual bar. Yeah, an actual chocolate bar. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Yeah, Good Sam, they make macadamia nuts we've had from them before. Uh, they also made like the chocolate dipped almonds and stuff that oh, we've had. Yeah. yeah, so I didn't know they I had remember, chocolate I bars. The macadamia. Yeah, either. So oh my gosh, I love this. First of all, I love the matte paper, but then they have the shiny foil on the inside. Like you old, this is an experience right here. Like you all the old, is this old Willy Wonka vibes. right here? Yeah, is this the chocolate factory? That's I do a, not know. Classic. Okay, and so just like a regular old chocolate mm, bar. Nice. Okay, let's go. Here we go. Mm, I could smell the mint before. Mm. Too bitter. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Very bitter. <laughs> Ooh, that's a dark dark chocolate. Yeah, I mean, if you like dark chocolate, mm. you'll like that. It's just a wee bit too bitter for me. I mean, but I'm honestly going to say tier three. I wouldn't refuse it. I would just choose every other yeah, chocolate yeah. snack over that. But Ooh. if this was the only thing I had, mm. I would like eat a couple of bites. Palate, <laughs> yeah, it really, it really did. I was just like, mm. and the mint flavor is pretty present. Oh, yeah. But it honestly, it's just overcome by I this mean, just huge bitterness. Between the mint bitterness. and the dark chocolate. Like, ooh. I mean, I do feel the mint. I feel it in the back of my throat. Nice. Yeah, no, I would say definitely a tier three as well. Yeah, and it's just yeah. too bitter for me, but you might like it. Next we have, speaking of Nestle Crunch, we have Ooh. better th than Good Foods Keto I Chocolate Crunch. I yes. I talked it up. I'm, I have high hopes for this, I hoping that it's good. Is good. I'm assuming way. that it is like a Nestle Crunch-like situation. Oh, it's broken, but that's yeah. okay. It looks like a, like a crunch. Of yeah, it does look like a crunch bar. So there's the front of it, and then, oh God. And then there's the back. So you can Very see like, thick. okay, it's weird how all the crunches are kind of like aggregated into like two <laughs> sections oh, of it. Oh yeah, you're right. It you can moves. tell that this it was made around. on a conveyor belt probably. Yeah. Okay. Very jumpy. Okay, let's try it. Let's do this. Mm. I feel like that's as close to a Nestle Crunch bar you're going to get. Yeah. I'll the chocolate that. flavor is not very strong, but to be honest, that could just be because of the bitter no, I was just say, I was, uh, I think that came at a perfect time yeah. because it tastes so creamy and, yeah. and neutral. It's very creamy and neutral, but the the texture of the crunches. Oh, I love that. It's really good. Yeah, yeah. that's a, one more time. That's a tier two for me. Honestly, I would say let me try again. Make sure the mint didn't neutralize me. Mm. I would lean more to one, yeah. just because of it tastes really more, good. One and a half. I mean, this is really good. But the one between one and two, mm -hmm. it's very high. Mm -hmm. I mm. love it. Next, keto wise, chocolate pecan oh. clusters. You remember we just had the chocolate peanut butter smash bomb last that. month, and now they're already Ooh. hitting us with another product. Now we'll say the ingredients in these mm. are not good at oh. all. Lots of oils, okay. lots of uh, polydextrose. Yay. I was just like, what are y'all thinking? But they snuck in. We gonna eat them though. They snuck in on the finish line. Yeah. So these are like two little turtles oh, that come nice. in a pack. I love turtles. Yes. So let me. Okay. So I mean, they look substitute. absolutely delicious, and I bet they're gonna taste that way too. Okay, yeah. let's go. Mmm. Well. Mmm. So chewy. That's the turtle. So caramelly. Mm hmm The I mean, nutty crunch on top. I mean, like you said, they're giving all the ingredients. Yeah, I am. Of course it's gonna taste like that. Let's see, there's vegetable oil, mm -hmm. palm oil, mm -hmm. poly 
dextrose. Mm-hmm. And all the good stuff growing boys and girls <laughs> need. <laughs> to grow diabetes. Exactly. But it's tasty. It's a tier one for taste. Yeah, tier, tier four. four. Yeah, no. Mm-mm. Yeah, I mean, it tastes good, but I mean, just don't eat these. Like, I feel mm. bad for saying that, but like, you don't you don't even need to moderately put these into your diet. Like, mm. it tastes good though, but there's just too much other stuff in here that we know better now. Like, I mean, we just can't do it. Look at you. I know, right? But That's I mean, so it was. It was delicious, but yes. of course, because it was regular candy at that yes. point, so. It was a turtle. Yeah. Okay, for the final two, it's honestly just like Battle of the Titans, right? Oh Ross God. Chocolates Dot CA and Choc Zero. I'm going to save Choc Zero for last, what? even though I mean I, I love Ross Chocolates Dot CA, but like you said, you love both. Choc of them. Zero Bark, I know, right? Okay, so these are dark chocolate thins with sea salt. Mm. We've already had some super dark chocolate today, so yes, hoping, yeah, hoping this is not as like bitter dark right so but i will tell you this i absolutely love these little thin these, these squares. squares yeah like That's it's so just neat. the perfect you know it doesn't really melt in your hands like most of them. no like mm -mm. most of them become all creamy okay ready mm -hmm. here we go mm. Hmm. Hmm. still more bitter than i would like I do love the snappiness yeah. of it though. And I can taste the sea salt. Mm hmm. Me too. All the above. And it's not as bitter as the other one. It's so. definitely not as bitter. But, but for me, this is still a tier three. Still a little bit. Yeah. It's still mm -hmm. bitter enough to where as I'm eating it, mm -hmm. I'm just remembering that it's bitter. You yeah. know? Like it doesn't transport me anywhere. It just leaves me right mm -hmm. into, oh, I'm eating bitter chocolate. So. I mean, I would say three. But that salt keeps throwing me out. But right that last bite had a nice crunch of salt in there. Yeah, like, the, the salt. I mean, it is actually mm. very sea salt crunchy, and that is good. But I have to say two. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I know, just because of the salt. The Still salt too bitter for me. So, yeah. I love, I mean, look, pretty much all other flavors of RossChocolates.ca are my absolute favorite. Yes. And so, once again, if you like dark chocolate, With if you like sea salt, you will love this. It's just my salt. personal taste, okay? Yeah, of course. We all right, that. and finally, we're... <laughs> what is wrong with you? Okay, and finally, we have Choc, Choc Zero, Zero Keto Bark. Once go. again, this is dark chocolate with oh, hazelnut. Wow. I mean, they are really going for it with the dark this chocolate this month in the keto crepe. But Chalk Zero is just always a lot more sweet. It's just always sweeter. Yeah, they're like dark chocolate, mm -hmm. like bricks. They put an extra teaspoon of sweet. Yeah, butter. it's mostly the fiber that's in here, but like it's still delicious. So let's try it. I'm ready. Oh this my god! Open, so open yours. I'm just reading all the beautiful little artwork they have on these packs. So I do love that. You know, you can oh, see wow. on the front, they have like the little chalk zero. This is massive. Yeah, and then the the back is the hazelnut. These are hazelnuts. Okay, let's go. Here we go. That's like a soap bar. Nope. Mm. Mm. Immediately sweeter. You know what this tastes like? Mr. Good Bar. Oh, look at you. Yeah. Because you can tell on the back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I've never had? Mr. Good Bar. Oh, Mr. Good Bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but these are good. Apparently, I was missing out on some Mr. Good Bar. Mm-hmm. You know, that's the one the yellow packaging, right? Mm -hmm. I remember. I don't really look like I was always so close to like Milky Way and Snickers mm -hmm. and stuff like that. <laughs> okay. These are amazing, though. So this is dark chocolate. Wow. Not a hint of bitterness. I was gonna say that too. The crunch from the hazelnuts, delicious. I mean, me personally, I'm loving the size. I'm loving the feel. I'm loving like this is a good portion right here. This mm -hmm. is not a this is not a skimpy little thing. No. I am going for me. It's tier two. <sighs> you shock me. Well, because they have milk chocolate versions of all of them. Okay, I forget you always. And I will just... always choose the milk chocolate first, but this is by far the best dark mind. chocolate tasting thing yeah. we've had today. 
Look at y'all's memory in your mind all the brand they make, mm -hmm. all the brands that you're like, I like that other one better. Mm -hmm. I have to say. Tier one of flavor. Quite if the bite. You like these, right? They have other ones that I and like then, better. Mm. Give them what you just said. I would say tier two as well. Because the one you said, milk chocolate or the, um, mm -hmm. has a better taste. But but yeah, they have milk chocolate with almonds. They have milk chocolate milk with hazelnuts. They have milk chocolate. I mean, but if you like dark chocolate, absolutely delicious. Man, and hazelnut. And hazelnuts, right? It's a nice, so nice do you know? Of year mood. Yeah, like who I want to know, like if they like dark chocolate and hazelnuts. Know. The winner of this month's keto grip. Nah. Oh my god. And that person is, mm, right here. You got you a lot of dark chocolate oh this month, okay? <laughs> like, hopefully you like dark chocolate. Send me an email at watchautumnketo yep. at gmail.com yep. to let me know. But like, this keto crate is coming your way. Mm -hmm. And if you right, didn't win, don't worry. You can click the link in the description to purchase and get a discount on your very first keto crate. This has a lot of great stuff in it. I mean, a lot of dark chocolate. Honestly, the maple candy pecans, yeah. the cheese, mm -hmm. the keto and co fudge brownies. Oh, this nigga, yes, winner. Lots of winners here. I love the keto crate for introducing me to products that I would have never tried before. Exactly. For delivering me products I already know I love. Exactly. And for delivering the opportunity to own a piece of a company. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you in the new year. Yes, I know, will. right? Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Use my world. No. <laughs> Use my world. No. You're silly. <laughs>